Hello, we are gonna draw acorns, bananas, acorns. We're drawing acorns no, today. Bananas. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be drawing acorns today. I'm gonna here with my um, acorn? my lovely assistant, my lovely acorn, <laughs> who's gonna show us how to make more acorns. All right, you ready? Somewhere in the house, I have like. 70 acorns. You, you did collect them for a while. All right, so we're we're gonna draw some acorns. We? <laughs> got acorns. Yes, I found them in the yard today. Yummy. The, the, no, do you, no, no, you don't eat acorns. What? Squirrels eat acorns. Children do not eat acorns, but look how cool this is. How fantastic Gus from Mark Rober. Wait, who's that? Mark Rober, the YouTuber. Well, I know, who, I know who Mark Rober is, but who's Fantastic Gus? It's a squirrel. Is there a squirrel? Does he have a squirrel? He, it's a squirrel that wandered around his house, and he <laughs> and he did a parkour course. <gasps> That's awesome. We should do that for our squirrels, too. All right, so you're ready to draw? So we're going to start out with a black pencil. Do you have your black pencil? Yep! Yep! Okay, so we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a guideline. Now this line we're not keeping, so we're gonna actually keep it light, and it's gonna look like a little mountain. So we're gonna keep this light, but we're gonna make a little mountain line like that. Okay, like you're gonna do a triangle, but then you stop. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw two U's. Uh, ah, cool your jets. Okay, right, so we're gonna do two U's on here, but we're gonna give a little space at the end of each one. So it's a U this way. We're drawing two acorns. One this way, hands. and you see this is the center, and we're actually doing the guidelines so it all ends up being um, proportionate and not all wonky. We don't want wonky. Okay, so give yourself your guideline through there, because you're going to need that. Okay, so now what we're, we're going to do is we're going to do... Uh, the switcheroo! The, no! <laughs> we're not... <laughs> we're doing switcheroo? Okay, apparently we're doing switcheroo. So I'm going to just... Fix mine a little bit so you guys get an end result that you know is done. So I have my two U's. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build the cap for the acorn. So I'm going to start out. And what that is, is um, over here, I'm, it's almost like a little letter J. I don't know if you guys can see that pretty well. Let me make it a little bit darker for you. Whoa! Ah! I broke my pencil. All right. Like, like that? There? Yep. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. It's like a C. Maybe it's a C. Let's think of it as C. And then you're just going to connect them. And that makes it look like the cap is sitting on top of your acorn. And the same one right here. Right here. <laughs> okay. And so the same thing over here. So I'm going to do it one over here and one over here. Like that. So you need one over here too. Right there. And you need one right there. And then what do you do? Eat tacos. <laughs> and then you connect them. On the top part, right here. I think you got this one already, kind of, right? But this one, eh, just connect there. Good. Okay, there is some sort of dog bark off in our backyard. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to make that top of our acorn. So it's a little cap. It's a little crown for the acorn. And we do that by making just another curve. So you're just connecting from here to here with a curve. So from here to here with a curve like that. Like a banana? Like a banana. Like this? I guess sort of. I don't really. I think a banana is bigger on one side and small. Like a small, big, small. Ooh! Ooh <laughs> I like yours. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to go over here. And we're going to eat your top. And I'm going to make this My one a little. So that's okay. That's what happens when you dance and draw. <laughs> Sometimes. So they're like this. Actually, kind of looks like a mushroom to me now. I'm going to fix one of your lines here, sir. So we have our caps on our mushrooms. Okay, so I'm gonna just make it a little bit darker inside of Perfect here. Perfect acorn Perfect. for my mouth. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> squirrels only. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the very top. It's this part that would be, um, you Eat see it has like a little like lump up here and then it has like the how it would connect to the tree. We're gonna do the little lump. We're not gonna do the connect tree part here, but if you wanna do it, of course you can do it. So next. So we're just going to erase our guidelines now, in here. I'm just using the back of a pencil eraser, especially Which if you're drawing some... It's this gun, right here, this guideline, and right there. This one? Yep. 
one in there. <laughs> Over here. If you erase some of your lines, which I probably will, it's okay. Because you can always go back. Now we do the switcheroo. <laughs> Apparently we're doing a lot of switcheroo today. <laughs> Get okay. my pencil! The, you this. too! <laughs> here you go. Alright. So, um... <laughs> flying pencils here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start on the shading. fly. We're going to start on the shading of this. So I'm just going to touch this up if this is going to be mine. I'm just going to do a little fancy pants work here. Fancy pants. Fancy pants. All right. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the shading in here first. Um, so I'm going to take my black again still. And I'm going to shade a little bit into the acorn. So I'm shading on this side. I'm going to shade down like this. Kind of scritchy, scratchy lines. I want to see. Oh, can you see now? Is that better? Yep. Okay. So I'm doing scritchy, scratchy lines into there. I'm going to do a little bit underneath the cap over here. Is this good? Yeah, that's great. We're going to do something fun today. I like a lot, actually. We're going to do one of my favorite. It's drawing with by subtraction. I'm going to put a little bit of shading into here in the back. Wait, subtracting 50 minus 40 equals 10. That's right. I'm but already we're... doing multiplication. That's awesome. And then I'm going to just... Um, <laughs> work out here. I'm going to put a little shading in the cap over here. Like me. Like you. Mm. And then I'm, over here, we're going to do the same thing, kind of opposite. So we're going to do shading on this side of the cap. That looks cool, Harry. Like that. And then I'm going to do the scratchy, scratchy lines over here. Raise your hand if you eat acorns. <laughs> Do not eat acorns. Why? They're, because they're, for, well, you know, our squirrel friends need them. I think, honestly, I do think if they're, they have to be cooked a certain way for people to actually eat acorns. Um, and, and I want to eat one. Well, we can research that, right? Ooh! Ooh! Maybe you're for your... You're in my mouth now. No, because <laughs> we can get sick from stuff like that, right? Sad face. Sad face. All right, so now we're also going to use, you have a purple, I have a blue, and we're going to do my our purple? Yeah. It's in my hands. It's in your hands. All right, so now we're going to do the shading, and we eat shading underneath. So <laughs> we're going to do the shading underneath between the two acorns we're going to shade in there. I'm using a blue, but you could easily use purple. Green and purple together, or blue and green. Okay. I like all those combos. I'm going to even put a little bit into the cap while I'm there. Mm -hmm. Now we're layering with the colored pencils, so we're going to do a little bit of layering. But as I said, we're also going to do subtraction into there, which is fun. Whoa, careful. All right, now we have two acorns on our paper. Two acorns. You. They go in trees. Actually, thank you for showing that. That is actually the leaf from the oak tree that makes the acorn. This is one of the prettier ones. I did find the other. They're a little kind of brown. This one, is, I want. I tried to go get them off the tree, but they were too high up. <laughs> so I have only had this one. This is a oak tree leaf, and it's starting to turn brown. But in the meantime, it kind of doesn't look real. It's so pretty. All right, ready? Okay, so let's shade in the cap first. So let's can you? Let's do more. <laughs> let's do more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start shading in the cap of the acorn before we put the little dots in, like the little U shapes. I into eat it. acorns. Oh, our wrist. <laughs> They're falling on the floor. We're gonna have to clean that up after. I don't want little animals moving in. More animals <laughs> moving in. Us. All right, so can you grab your My yellow? eyes are made out of acorns. You guys can't see that. He just shoved... Here, I'll show you while he gets his yellow. He just put the acorn into the dog's <laughs> eye. Actually, it doesn't look bad there. Doesn't it? It looks like an eyeball. All right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with our yellow. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on for the cap. We're going to do a little bit of yellow across here. Like this? And we're actually going to do the same thing this way. 
just kind of like a middle stripe. And you're going over all the other stuff that you did. Okay? Nice, that looks great. All right, did I give you an orange? I don't think I gave us the oranges. You only gave me a right. red. <laughs> so that's we're going to use reds from... then. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do a red stripe after. So we're going to go a little bit onto that yellow and bring it onto now onto the red. And that will do is I'll blend that will make our orange for us. And we're going to do that on both of them. Okay. To get that orange color. Yeah, I don't know how to mix colors. Well, that's how you do it. You put one with another. That's it. Okay, and lastly, I know we don't have two of these. So, because I looked all over the house for this one, we're going to use brown. And that brown, we're going to do... I brown. I know, we're going to have to share. So, I'm going to do it in the top here. You can dance while... You can dance, dance if you want to dance. while I'm doing my brown. So, I'm doing my brown into here. And I'm actually going to press pretty hard with the brown. I really get it saturated and over that black. Uh, and you can see it starts to really look like... Um, <laughs> it starts to really look like more of an acorn cap in the right colors. Before it looks like a rainbow, which actually I really like, but... Raise your hand if you like eating acorns. <laughs> don't eat acorns. We do not eat Why? acorns. Why? They go into the dog's mouth. Well, the dog... I don't... Dogs don't eat acorns either. Squirrels, probably some other animals. We can we definitely look that one up. <laughs> eat acorns. Sculptures eat acorns apparently in our in our uh, spider hut here. Okay, do you want the brown? Yes. Okay. Now what He's do I do with this? this? You're just gonna kind of go over everything now. <laughs> in the cap. <laughs> like this. Mm hmm You got it. You're just, essentially, you're blending with it. You're going to press, yeah, press them pretty hard in there. But don't waste it, because it's the only brown we have. What? <laughs> I know. I looked all over. There aren't any browns in here. Done. Done. Awesome. So, um, clap. now what we're going to do is we're going to take the black. You could do a brown also, but our brown is apparently um, a commodity here. So, you're going to make, it looks like this. Don't draw this down on your page, but it's like this, like a V-ish U. V? Yeah, but you're going to do that into the cap now. So, you're going to start on, I start on the left-hand side. I like to go left to right, and I'm just going to make a bunch of those shapes over and over. Let so, again, it, it kind of looks reminds me of, like, mermaid scales. Does it remind you of anything? I have no idea. I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. Okay, you're just making little U-shapes with your black. But if you're at home and you have a brown pencil, it's probably preferable to do a bread brown. Like this? Yeah, okay, slow down. Slow your roll. It'll take me a while. Now let me see more. See? Like okay. it looks like scales on, like, on a fish. Okay. Or on a mermaid. Mermaid. And you want to do the same thing on the other side, and you want to change the angle, because we're essentially going this way. Done! How'd you go so fast? <laughs> Your little speed demon today. Okay. So... When I do that, then I go back in. I'm just going to bring out this little, push this a little bit further in the cap. All the colors we used, just if you want to know. <laughs> Thank you. Kind sir. Alright, so. We have our caps done. Now we're going to do our acorns. Now the acorns, um, we are going to go back in. We're going to start with the yellow again. And we're going to put the yellow in over here on this side. Like that, like mm -hmm. this. And a little bit of yellow on this side. Yeah, like that. You got it. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. This side, I a little yellow. I eat burritos, 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 <laughs> burritos. <laughs> Sometimes, you, actually you do. You love beans. And olives. And olives, yes. And tacos. And ta Well, you don't really, well, 
Do you I've like crunchy it. tacos or no? No. 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 I'm more of not a crunchy taco person. Done. Done. Okay. Bye. Now <laughs> we're gonna use the red. We're gonna use the red next. So we're gonna put the red on top of that yellow that we have. So we're making it brown. We actually we are blending a little, but we'll use the the actual brown for for a little bit of it too. But we're trying to, right now. We're just going over everything. Mom. It's only uh, turning out red. Yours looks a little like it's bleeding. <laughs> Do you want to not press so hard, maybe? I think that will probably sure, solve your... like this? Yeah, like that. You got it. It says, ow, 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 <laughs> Poor acorn. So I go over the whole thing. You go over the whole thing. Good. Now they were made it the boo boo better. Aww, needs a band aid. Your acorn needs a band aid. Band -aid! All right, and then the last one, at least, we're gonna use the brown on top of that red and that orange. And I'm just gonna actually just try to go exactly on top. It has its band aid. It has its band aid. And I'm gonna press pretty hard in here. I am having some issues with this. This is not. Okay, what do we still need? Still the brown, but you're gonna borrow it after me. Okay, so here's the brown. You're gonna okay, go over the brown. Okay, the ultimate brown. brown and while he's doing that, I'm actually, I'm also gonna steal his purple a little bit. What? I'll give it back. <laughs> um, and the robber. I'm gonna use the purple a little bit under the cap here. Um, I like want this, this to be. It's still. Um, it's not as brown as I would like it to be <laughs> because I don't have a proper brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little purple on top also. And that will bring it, bring that, bring that color a little bit closer to what I want. So we're just layering with our colored pencils. Now I wait until no. I get my purple. While I'm waiting, let's use my purple. <laughs> There's another. Yes, I think we have we're a lot of purple. We don't have a lot of uh, some of the other colors. I definitely have to invest in some other colors here. And a lot of brown uh, oil pastels. Yeah, I think we have brown oil pastels. Hey. I got one from school. Did you? For our art. That's awesome. I lost the purple several times. Did you? Yeah. In the thing. Well, it happens. We it all keeps, lose things. It kept falling out of my hands. Pew, pew. The box. And then I had to all organize them again. Do you like organizing stuff or no? Not really. Sometimes I do. It depends on what it is. I like playing on the computer. That I'm aware of. <laughs> Alright, so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to do this as I, said, I said about drawing the subtraction. What we're doing now is we're going to draw by subtraction. You could either use like a regular pencil eraser or you could use um, a, big, a big art yeah. eraser. We're going to take the eraser and we're going to just actually go into here and bring out actually going to erase what we did across this way, bring out a highlight, but also like kinda, this? it also blends for us. How do I do it? Just use your the other side of the pencil. <laughs> oh. The subtraction is minus, right? So you're using your pencil. I'm going to use yours because I like yours four better. To erase in there. Zero. So it gives it like a little highlight four. over here. So I'll show you again on mine. I'm using my eraser to get a little highlight on here. And you can go back in if you didn't if, like, for me, I pulled a little too much out. <laughs> so you could go back in with some of um, your lines. If you pull too much out. Actually, yes, that actually looks cool. Can you see how it looks, like, dynamic? And then what you would do is just go back in here with the blues or the blacks and just pick up any lines that you might have, you know, lost in there. So I'm not quite done. I know you, you're, I think you're feeling done. I'm not... <laughs> No! No, let me finish. Let me finish. You can have my minutes on. I guess that's it. Are you done? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I think we're done. I think hopefully you guys learned something. Don't eat acorns. See you next time. Remember Please to... Subscribe. Subscribe. For a hundred subscribers. Yes. For, for that. Whatever that is. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Be silly! Be silly! And remember, just keep drawing.